Are you looking for a camcorder to make home videos? Are you looking to spend less than $1,000? Well, I got the right camcorder right here for you. And that is the Sony AX53. We're gonna talk about it in that video. It's coming up next. Hi, my name is Brian, the camera guy. And if you're new to my channel, I review Sony gear along with accessories that go along with those products. Today, I'm focusing on you, the dad, the home video maker. And today we're gonna to talk about the Sony AX53. It's a camcorder, it's an all-in-one solution, and it might be the easiest camera that you're gonna use, and it's gonna be under $1,000. All right, so let's talk about some of the specs of this camera. So the Sony AX53 is a one-inch CMOS sensor. It can record up to 4K in 24 frames a second, or up to 30 frames a second. It can also do 1080p in 24, 30, and 60 frames a second. And it also has a super slow mode option that can get you up to 120 frames per second slow motion. It only utilizes 8.29 megapixels of its 16 megapixel sensor. So when you're recording in 4K or 1080p, you're only gonna get eight megapixels each. It does have a maximum aperture of F2, ranging all the way from F2 up to F3.8. So you can get some blurry background if you use ND filters. Now it does have a 55 millimeter thread size on the front of it. You're gonna to wanna to get an ND filter that will fit on here or get some step up rings. I'll link some options down in the description below along with the link for this camera. So if you're looking to pick it up, like I said, it is under $1,000. So I used this camera for two plus years and uh, it still holds up very well and it is a top seller on B&H and Amazon for camcorders. Uh, it does take all the way up to 256 gig cards. So you can use a 256 gig card to really maximize the camera's potential. It does have a built-in microphone right up here at the top, and it does a pretty good job of cutting down the wind. So you can also get an external microphone. It plugs in right here, and there is a hot shoot right on top. Um, or you can get the specific Sony hot shoot, the hot shoot mounted uh, microphone. It does have uh, a 20 times optical zoom on 4K and a 30 times optical zoom on 1080p. You can also go all the way up to 250 times for a digital zoom. Um, but you do lose some image quality once you start doing that. Now we're here at the beach. I am with my family. So I did want to uh, show you exactly what this thing can do. So if you want to come along with me, I'll show you some of the footage. Uh, the image quality does come out pretty nice. We'll go ahead, we'll put it on the tripod here and uh, let's see the image quality. I am gonna throw an ND filter on here and uh, try and get that aperture down as low as it will possibly go. So uh, I'll be right back after I throw this on the camera. All right, so now we're back. We got the Sony AX53 on the camcorder. Uh, this is the 4K image quality that you can expect to receive. I think the quality is pretty good. Like I said, I do have an ND filter on here. Uh, I am seven stops down on that ND filter. One of the downsides is, is that with this camera, you're not gonna get that blurry background uh, unless you throw on an ND filter like I have right now. So I do have an ND filter on here right now. I'll put a link to that uh, filter down, down below. Um, you would need some step up rings to take it down to the 55 millimeter, but it is a solid ND filter. This camera does sport a Zeiss lens. I think the colors look really nice. So. Um, so there's not much that you have to do with tweaking. I have everything on standard profile, standard audio, and uh, the image quality comes out very nice. Hey, you having fun at the beach? Nice. All right, we're using the onboard microphone here. So this is an onboard microphone test. Lizzie, give me an audio test, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear. Let's go ahead and test some of that zoom feature. This is the optical zoom. 4K optical zoom. So that's how close you can get. Go ahead and test that optical zoom. Zoom it all the way in. So you can see that, uh, that mountain over there. So that's the optical zoom. Let's go ahead and show you the digital zoom. 
So now this is the 250 time digital zoom. I'm gonna slide it over this way a little bit. And here we go, 250 time digital zoom. I have it on a tripod right now and it's still very shaky. Zoom out just a little bit. There we are. So that's the optical, that's the digital zoom. And there is the optical zoom. So this camera, like I said, does record in 4K and 1080p and it does have face detecting. So as I'm looking at the screen, one of the beauties of this thing is, is it does have a flip around screen so you can easily videotape yourself. There is a vlogging package that's available on B&H and Amazon, and I'll link those up to down below as well. So if you're looking to use this as a vlogging setup, you can definitely do that as well. I think the uh, 4K looks really good. Uh, unless you're looking to crop in, even with the 4K, sometimes if you crop in too far, it can get kind of blurry. I'll show you what I mean right now. So as you can see, I'm cropping it on my face and uh, it starts losing a little bit. If you have your zoom all set up the way you want it, it's gonna look perfectly fine. This thing does have great image stabilization as well. It's optical, so the lens inside does move around. This thing can produce some really smooth footage, as you can see right here. So easily as you're walking, you can get some great smooth footage without any problems. Uh, like I said, I used this camera for two years. This might be one of the easiest cameras that you're gonna be able to use. If you wanna get into super slow motion, you can also uh, go right here to the menu system and go into this feature right here, and this will get you 120 slow motion. And the quality on the 1080p looks really good as well. So the 4K is nice, uh, 1080p is good if you wanna save some file size. It does allow you to go up to 60 megabytes for the, for the 1080p and the 4K, or you can go all the way up to 100 megabytes like we are right now at 24p. So this here is the 1080p image quality. It is shooting at 50 megabytes per second. So that does help keep the file size down a little bit. Uh, but the 1080p doesn't look bad either. Uh, it's a nice camera. It's got a great lens on it. That Zeiss lens is really, really helping us out, giving us a great image quality. So this is the 1080p image quality. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the optical zoom on the 1080p. It does get up to 30 times where the 4K will get up to 20 times. So once again, this is the 1080p. So once again, this is the 1080p 30 times optical zoom. So that's using the lens to zoom in. I think the image quality looks pretty nice. So uh, there's the side by side of the two zooms. One, one is at 30 and the other one is at 20 times optical zoom. And we're back in 4K now. Uh, so go ahead and comment down below. Let me know which image quality looks better to you or can you not really tell the difference with the YouTube compression? So YouTube will compress all the files. So sometimes even recording in 1080p, but then exporting in 4K can sometimes make your image quality look even better as well. Go ahead and let me know what you think of the image quality. Comment down below if you are into home movies, if you're a dad or a mom, are you looking to chase the kids around or uh, what are you looking to do with this camcorder? Uh, I've been using this camcorder, like I said, for, for two plus years. Uh, just recently upgraded to a uh, hybrid stills video camera. I'll talk about that in my next video. So if you wanna see more about another camera that's under $1,000, that's gonna give you exceptional image quality, uh, make sure you tune in next week for that, that video. So I highly recommend this camera. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always hit me up in the comments down below or hit me up on Instagram at Brian the Camera Guy. Make sure you give this video a like, Subscribe to see more. Ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on my future videos. I've been Brian the Camera Guy. Thanks for watching.